Acts 1.8 says, You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria to the ends of the earth. In this end of the earth, in Tigerville, South Carolina, there's a group of these witnesses. They're committed to knowing the word, to growing in their walk with Christ Jesus, and to going with the gospel. This is NGUBCM. Even though I was the director for 25 years, the organization is much older than that. My name is Mason Easterling, and I'm executive director for church relations here at North Greenville. Baptist Student Union was started in the uh, late 1920s, early 1930s, all across uh, the nation in Southern Baptist colleges and also at state schools. Our BSU, as it was called then, was started in 1930. It's the oldest student-led organization at North Greenville. I was given the opportunity to direct the BSU, I think about 1985 is when I started that work. BSU had about seven or eight members, and uh, we met in an office on the first floor of Whitehall. And uh, it was amazing to see how God worked through those students and gave us opportunities for ministry and service. And it was my honor to uh, direct the work for 25 years. My name is Adeline Floyd and I'm a senior here at North Greenville University. Hi, I'm James Barnes. Um, I am a junior Christian studies major, modern music, and uh, I'm in charge of the music aspect of BCM leadership, and I've been serving with the music since freshman year. Hi, I'm Kelsey Green. I graduated in 2015, and now I'm working as a BCM intern with Campus Ministries. I walked into the cab with my parents, um, a senior in high school, met Jody, uh, saw the bald man look like um, freaking David Crowder. I was like, yo, what's up, dude? Um, and he told me about BCM, BSU at the time, BSU for life. Um, and was like, yo, so what you do? Asked me what I did and told him, you know, I was into worship and all. And through that, uh, I got plugged in. And then freshman year, I tried out. And they had auditions the third week of school. And uh, Reagan Cochelle brought me on the team. I um, came here freshman year and got involved in an impact team. And then sophomore through senior year was on BCM leadership team. So I served as, um, I just did kind of like logistical event planning and stuff like that. And, you know, impact teams, any retreats we had, reveal, um, I helped with all of those things. BCM has impacted me, honestly, in almost every way, just because it's a community that helps you grow in your faith and your walk with Christ, which then affects every other aspect of your life. And so not that it is my walk, but it's encouraged me a lot in it. And it's a really strong community that can help you grow in that. And so it's been a huge impact on me. Well, I think BCM has probably been my foundation while I was here. Um, freshman year was a rough year for me. I lost my best friend, cancer. And so uh, just having that community and that group, um, I think that's the thing I loved about the name Baptist Student Union because we were a unified group um, and still even through BCM we are but the family that we have on Thursday nights um, the the connection and the the text messages that are sent out and just the phone calls by people that love you and care for you and just the haze and passing by by Jody it's a it's a true bond and family and connection and it's something you can't break so as a student I think it really challenged me in the areas of service and leadership so I guess I kind of knew that I sort of had an administrative mind, like logistical gifting, but BCM was really, or BSU was really the place where I was able to, um, to kind of use that gifting in event planning and um, just any logistical, figuring things out, getting the more, more people involved, et cetera. And then I think it also challenged me as a leader just to kind of own whatever area I was doing and, and run with it. How will BCM affect my life? Um, it's definitely given me a lot of connections. Um, I look forward to seeing where the Lord will lead me in the future with uh, my career. Um, praying to hopefully do worship ministry or even pastoral ministry. And through BCM, I've made a lot of great friends that um, I will 
definitely hopefully stay in touch with and serve maybe in future churches uh worship teams um but it's definitely giving me a foundation to grow on as i graduate and have a career to hopefully grasp i think the same way i think i'll miss it a lot because i always hear people graduating say that this is the thing that they miss most is the community here because it is super strong and a lot of times when you graduate it's hard to find that community so i'm really trying to take advantage of it while i'm here but i think it'll I think it's been a big building block for me and laid a solid foundation in my walk and so that when I graduate I'll be more prepared for things that I face. I'm Emily Jennings. I'm married to Jody. This is my domain. My name is Jody Jennings. I'm the VCM director here at North Greenville University. <laughs> yeah, so when we were both students here at North Greenville, we had the opportunity to be a part of BSU at the time now known as BCM, and uh, both served on the leadership team and both had uh, roles there and just been significantly involved during that time. And then uh, about 10 years ago, back in 2008, came back here to take the role as director. Um, since I was a freshman in college, I it used to be called BSU. And so we, would, we were both part of that in college and then Dream job. <laughs> so the way that I got connected in on the very beginning was uh, traveling with a ministry team. Emily was here a year before me and so she was serving on that team as well and uh, it's Joyful Sound which is one of the traveling ministries out of BCM. So coming in got involved through service more than anything else. I think for me it was one of the first things I ever did apart from my family, apart from um, I grew up in a pastor's home and my dad, we traveled around, we went to different churches and so for me it was the first time that I actually like had to decide what do I believe and, and how do I minister and who do I like to minister to and, and what does that look like for me and so it was a real growing experience for me just at the beginning from the get-go. I would say that really set us up to do the ministry that uh, God called us to do through equipping and giving us opportunities to serve um, and be involved in the local church, serving there, learning about uh, how to minister in a variety of contexts, whether it's a bunch of students in a location or whether it's a small group of even elderly people at a nursing home or whatever it may be. Uh, just a lot of opportunities. And then uh, through worship corporately, being able to experience that and be part of kind of framing what that would look like on a regular basis and serving in that. I think immediately after graduation, um, we went to seminary and then we moved to Uganda and, and the BCM people, even though some of them were our friends, some of them it was like subsequent years, they prayed for us. One year they collected money and sent us a car seat, remember that? They sent us a car seat in Uganda. And so it just always was something that we knew was, um, we, we were just connected to, even when we didn't know the people as peers. They still, well, when we lived in Uganda, we had teams come and minister with us in Uganda from, from the BSU here at North Greenville. I think it's the sense of always feeling that you're part of something bigger than yourself and that you're part of something ongoing. So it's not BCM for a set time, four years, five, six, however long you end up staying. It's not just for a set period of time, but it's, a, it's really something that God uses over and over in the life of many people and allows you to kind of push ahead, leave a legacy, not behind, but something you send forward. So. Uh, that's been a significant thing for us as we've looked and even being part of serving here now, helping shape that and be part of it ongoing. So through BCM and involvement and even doing ministry side by side while we were students really set us up or set me up and propelled me forward in my understanding or even my preparation to be a husband so it was while we're doing ministry together single allows 
allowed me the, the growth that I needed to be able to do ministry together. Um, and as far as being a dad, I think some of the models that I continued to see around campus and then through people who had gone ahead of us and who modeled that well for us, that set us up again. It was just a, it was kind of like a, just a mentoring from a distance maybe, but nonetheless allowing us to see examples of people who had done it well and been faithful where they were. Having my family be a part of this ministry is, what I love about it is it, it allows our family to minister together. So it's not something that's just Jody's, but it's something that our kids are able to see that these are the type of college students that they want to be. You know, they want to they want to love Jesus and they want to serve Jesus and they want to, you know, be. They my kids. I've had a couple of them say, "I want to be on the leadership team when I'm in when I'm in college." And so seeing that that's something that is a goal of theirs has made it just. It's like it's worth it because so often I think in other types of ministry, it's dad goes to work and then he comes home. But for us, it's it's all of us. It's all the time. It's not just Thursdays. It's it's whatever we do, wherever we go, it's something that we do together. And I think to add to that, it would be this idea for our kids that they think going to college is about doing ministry and going on mission trips and serving God. So college experience is serving and being on mission for God away from your family or in a community of other like-minded people. So BCM has provided that for our family to see. Absolutely. Man, that's a tough one. One word. Giant mess. Messy? That's a good one. Messy. That was two words. Giant mess is two words. I put them all together. Yeah. Uh, Family. Thursday nights in Turner Chapel, students gather to worship, fellowship, and hear the preaching of God's Word. But just like the church, BCM is not a place or an event, but a group of people. They're a group of young men and women from all different backgrounds and all walks of life with all different majors and desires for the future. But they have one thing in common. They all desire to love the Lord and to make His name known. Put simply, to know, grow, and go. This is NGUPCM.